Good day. I am Julian Denise Gregorio from Weber Zihai University of Science and Technology College of Nursing, and I will be your student nurse for today. For today, I will be assessing abdominal assessment. Abdominal assessment is important if life-threatening intestinal pathology exists. Most commonly, obstruction, perforation, ischemia, or volvulus. A rapid and diagnostic abdominal examination will be the single most important factor to avoid mortality and to minimize morbidity. For the materials, you need a stethoscope, tape measure, skin marking pen. For the assessment, first of all, ask the client to urinate since an empty bladder makes the assessment more comfortable. Second, you can also assess the client by asking if they feel any pain in any part of their body. Third, assess for any changes in their appetite. Let us start with the implementation. Good day, sir. I am Julian Denise Gregorio and I will be your student nurse for today. May I know your name, please? Prince Carmelo. How about your birthday, sir? August 19, 2008. Okay, how do you want me to address you? Mr. Carmelo. Okay, sir Carmelo. For today, I will be performing an abdominal assessment as per instructed by the physician. But before anything else, can I ask you if are you feeling any pain in your abdomen before going here? No. Have you feel any constipation or diarrhea? If you do, when it is start and how frequent it is? No. Do you experience any changes in appetite? No. Okay, Mr. Carmelo. So abdominal assessment is necessary because it can help us detect the health problems in our clients earlier and it can also prevent future complications from any development with the, the existing disease but before anything else please relax and just rest your arms on your side as we start the procedure okay. I will now perform a hand hygiene and provide your privacy to prevent microorganisms to interfere with our safety. Okay. For the inspection, expose the abdomen. Lift the clothes of the client up to the area that is needed to be assessed. Make sure that the blanket of the client is just at the hips area. Observe the abdominal contour. Check if the abdomen of our client is flat, round, and bulgy. Check for symmetry if in equal size. Okay, Mr. Carmelo, can you take a deep breath and hold it for a second? Ask the client to take a deep breath and hold it for a moment. Check the contour symmetry of the abdomen. Okay, Mr. Carmelo, is there any part of your abdomen that feels hard? No. If the client says yes, validate the information given by the client. To verify it more, use a tape measure. Put the tape measure around the abdomen of the client. The ends will be on the top of the navel. Measuring the abdominal girth may vary in measurement. For example, a pregnant woman, the abdominal girth will be different. It is only applicable to normal people's weight. For the auscultation of the abdomen, Auscultate the abdomen for bowel sounds, vascular sounds, and peritoneal friction rubs. Use a stethoscope. For bowel sounds, use a flat disc diaphragm. Place diaphragm of the stethoscope in each of the four quadrants of the abdomen over all of the auscultory sites. Listen for active vowel sounds. Irregular gurgling noises 
occurring about every 5 to 20 seconds. The duration of single sound may range from less than a second to more than several sounds should be present. If you hear the gurgling sound, move to other point. And for the vascular sound, use the bell of the stethoscope over the aorta, renal arteries, iliac arteries, and femoral arteries. Listen for the brutes. It should be absent. For the peritoneal friction rubs, peritoneal friction rubs are rough, cracking sounds like two pieces of leather rubbing together, and it should be absent.
the percussion of the abdomen. Percuss several areas in each of the four quadrants to determine presence of tympani or gas in stomach and intestine, and dullness or decrease absent or flatness of resonance over solid masses or fluid. Use a systematic pattern. Begin in the lower right quadrant, proceed to the upper right quadrant, the upper left quadrant, and the lower left quadrant. Palpation of the abdomen. Perform light palpation first to detect the areas of tenderness and or muscle guarding. Systematically explore all four quadrants. Ensure that the client's position is appropriate for relaxation of the abdominal muscle and warm the hands. Light palpation. Hold the palm of your hand slightly above the client's abdomen with your fingers parallel to the abdomen. Depress the abdominal wall lightly above 1 cm or to the depth of subcutaneous tissue with the pads of your fingers. Move the finger pads in slight circular motion. Note areas of tenderness or superficial pain, muscle, and muscle guarding. Perform a hand hygiene. Cover the client again and thank the patient. Okay, Mr. Carmela, now that the procedure is done, I will document any findings. Thank you and have a nice day. For the documentation, document any findings in the client record using forms or checklist supplemented by the narrative notes when appropriate. Report any deviations from expected or normal findings to the primary care provider. Once again, I am Julian Denise Gregorio from Nevesia University of Science and Technology College of Nursing. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.